All right, so all the things you've been uh, learning about logs are going to just kind of all come smashing together right now. So simplify, if you recall, means solve. Solve for what? X. But you're going to say, I don't see an X. Right. But the first thing you're going to do is you're going to apply your laws of logs to make this 1. So remember, this is law 3. So we're going to take that and put it right there. And then what does addition mean? Addition means multiply whatever's in this spot by this spot. So these two logs actually turns into log base 4. 2 to the 5th is 32 plus log base 4, 2. And here it comes. The 2 shall become 1 by multiplying these two together. So I get log base 4, 64. But we're not done yet. All we did was apply the laws of logs. So the next thing we need to do is insert x and then solve. So this is equals x. So now this turns into, this is a logarithmic equation. We need to turn it into an exponential. Start with this. Our base, go here and here. And again, if you already know the answer and you just go, I know it's 3, you don't have to make it hard. Uh, the reason I was pounding common bases was because there are hard ones that require you to take that step or else it's nearly impossible. Some of these you can just look at and figure it out in your head though. Same thing here. We're going to take that 2. We're going to put it there. This one's easy. 10 squared is 100. So I'm going to go like this. Minus log base 5, 4. Now what does minus mean? It means divide. So this turns into log 5, 100 over 4, which is just is the same thing as 25. Now that we've turned it into one log and it looks simple, we put our x in there, start here, go here, 5 to the x power equals 25. And you can just look at it and go, ah, that has to be 2. 5 squared is 25. So my answer is 2. All right. But if you like the common bases, happy places, go for it. So that 5 is going to stay. That 25 is going to go 5 squared. And then the 5s just disappear. X equals 2. This one, a lot easier than the previous two. That subtraction means division. So we go 44 divided by 11. And I'll show my work, though. Base 8. 44 over 11, which is just the same thing as log base 8, 4. Now this one's going to have a, so the start was easy. Now we put our x in. Now we go here to here. 8 to the x power equals 4. Now this is the first time this has happened in this class, I think, where we have an 8 and a 4. Typically, you could turn the bigger one into the smaller one, but look. 4 to the 0 power is 1. Or, yeah, 4 to the 1 power is 4. 4 squared is not 8, it's 16. See, I can't use a 4 to represent an 8 if I'm going to use powers. So i got to change this into a 2 and change this into a 2. So this is going to turn into 2 cubed to the x power, and 4 is going to turn into 2 squared. See, that was a little different. I had to change both of them. Now, if I have a power to a power, I multiply. So this whole thing is going to turn into 2 to the 3x equals 2 squared. My common bases disappear. So this stuff has to equal that stuff. And then I go, hey, I'm going to divide by 3. So I get x is 2 thirds. Okay, let's go on to example 4. Again, subtraction means division if we're going to turn them into one log. So it's log base 3, 2 over 54, which is just the same thing as log base 3, 1 27th. And now we actually insert our x, start here, go here, go here. In other words, 3 to the x equals 1 over 27. And this is why we practiced all those problems in the previous section. Common bases, happy places. I got a 3 and a 27. Which one's bigger? The 27. 
I'm going to rewrite the 27 as 3 cubed. And I'm going to bring it up, which means it turns into a negative. Now these disappear, so I get x equals negative 3. Done. And you can see the last two problems of this lesson just says solve it. Why? Because there's an x. Now here's my recommendation. Well, this is my teaching. This is a single log. This is nice and neat. Don't mess with it. Keep it. Over here, this is a mess. So what you're going to do is you're going to use your laws to clean up. In other words, that three halves is law three. We're going to put it right here. Now if we concentrate on this, this says the square root of four is two. Two cubed is eight. So I'm going to rewrite this as log base a, 8, plus log base a, 3. What does addition mean? What does it mean? It means multiplication. The 2 shall become 1. So this turns into log base a, 24. And I'm going to put that right over here. And look at, if this is the same as this, then this has to be the same as this. So I go x is 24. So it's very similar to what you guys have been doing with this sort of thing. 2x equals 2 to the 7th. Once you get common bases, these disappear. And you say that has to equal this. See, when we got one log here and one log here, those kind of disappear. And we go x is 24. So take what I taught on this example and apply it to this one. Now, I know some of you are going to say, oh, this is messy because there's two things right here. No, the left-hand side only has one log. Don't mess with it. Do not mess with that. But over here, we got a mess. And this is going to be... Apologize for that. We got some dog problems here. So... Just so you know, we do run a breeding business. You can check out Bear Creek Bernadoodles if you want to see our uh, puppies. But, yeah, when the dogs get fired up, nothing you can do about it. So here we go. Back to the lesson. Here's a log right here. It's 1, so we just keep it. This is messy. Subtraction means division. So really, 27 divided by 3 is 9. So this is log base B, 9. And then we say, look at this has to equal this. And this weird looking intimidating problem just got pretty easy. So x equals 13. And that's it.